Hello YouTube, Allie's R&Y, Odyssey coming here at ya. <sighs> it's been a while. My last update that I filmed was on August 13th, and today is the 15th. So I'm at my beautiful dance studio right now, and I have some time before people start coming in, so I figured it'd be a good opportunity to record a video. So, went in for my six month follow up today. I'm actually seven and a half months out, so I'm a little bit late. And my surgeon was thrilled with my progress. Um, he's like, said he was impressed that the progress I had made was very impressive. So, needless to say, that made me feel really good. And I'm down like 30 percentage points in my BMI. When I started out, I was like 78% or something crazy like that, and now I'm down to 48%. So he was very pleased with that. Um, since surgery, which I had surgery on January 31st, I'm down about 129 pounds. But altogether, since I started my preoperative diet on Christmas Day, I'm down 160 pounds. So for my stats, um, my highest recorded weight on the doctor scale was 449.9. You might as well say 450 pounds because I ate Christmas Eve dinner. <laughs> the next day after that weigh-in, um, kind of had a final blowout day and then started um, Christmas Day. So I'm sure that I would, would have been 450 on his scale on Christmas Day. So 449.9 official highest weight. Um, my surgery weight was 418. The last time I came to you back on August 13th, my weight was 299. I had just gotten into um, Tudor land. I was really excited. And today at my surgeon's office, my weight was 289. So 160 pounds. Very proud of that. Um, been feeling great like the last couple of weeks I've really seen a turnaround just in my physical well-being um, the way I'm feeling just things have done a complete 180 for me which is great so let me think what's been going on so the last time I talked to you I think I had just gotten back from New York well things have been a little crazy we got back from New York we had our intensive here at the studio and um, my grandniece, who is my studio manager, started having um, signs of preeclampsia. She's she's pregnant, and she was due she was due like Monday, like this coming Monday was when she was due. But the week of August twenty first, she started showing signs of preeclampsia. So she was back and forth to the hospital all week. We had our intensive that week, which is Monday through Friday from seven thirty till six o'clock at night and also trying to get ready for our open house. So it was crazy, um, but you know, I think that week was really a turning point for me because I realized how much I could do um, and how far I had come. I was here almost every day for the intensive, um, even if it wasn't the whole day. I think there was only one day that I didn't come in at all and you know, did a lot around the studio. My son and his girlfriend came in and helped out his girlfriend is now living with us. So it, like I said, it's just, it's been crazy. My niece ended up, um, they ended up inducing her. And then when that didn't go well, they ended up giving her a C-section on the Friday, the 26th, I believe it was. So it was crazy, crazy, crazy. And we had open house like the very next day. So... So she, wait a minute, Friday the 20, August 25th is when they finally gave her a C-section after being back and forth to the hospital all week. And then Saturday we had open house. So not only is like everything going on with her and everybody's worried about her, but you know, we had our big open house where people come in and register for the year. So it was crazy, but you know, I got through it and I was proud of myself for getting through it. Um, and it was a stressful time. So you know, I was just thankful that physically I'm so much farther than where I was because last year I wouldn't have been able to do it. I would have been in pain after the first day. So that happened. <laughs> um, 
And then after that, like I said, my son's girlfriend moved in and then classes started. And um, again, because she had a C-section, my grandniece is still out. So it's been a little crazy. I was here every day for the first week of classes. Um, I'm teaching two nights a week right now because I'm filling in for her on Thursday for a tap class. And then on Friday, I teach my three tap classes. So another, I would say, non-scale victory is I'm not able to dance full out with the girls yet, but I'm able to get up and demonstrate some things. And that feels really good. But I've come such a long way. My body is starting to rapidly change now. Like every time people see me, they're like, I swear you get smaller every time I see you. So I guess I'm at the point where every like five to 10 pounds is making a difference. Um, so goals, you know, my goal is that num my first goal is to get under two well that i guess that's my next goal is to get under 250 um because i want to reach 200 pounds off i really would like to do that by december 25th because that would be 200 pounds in a year so that's kind of the goal even if i only lose 10 pounds a month i'll make that goal so i'm hoping I can do it, right? I can do it. So, but I'm feeling good, you know? For the first time in a long time, I'm really feeling good. And I had such a rough start and I had so many digestive problems and all of that has gotten so much better. I very seldom have issues anymore. You know, I did have to cut out all protein shakes completely. They just didn't sit on my stomach. So I do struggle getting my protein in and I've had a lot of hair loss and that's probably contrib contributing to it. I'm typically probably getting between 50 and 60 a day. Yesterday I did get 67, but I'm supposed to get between 70 and 90. So it's hard to do without, excuse me, hiccups. It's hard to do without protein shakes. So, and I've tried protein water and I, I would, you know, I appreciate the suggestions. Try this kind, try vegan. I've tried them all. Trust me. I've tried everything. It just, my intestinal tract, my lower intestinal tract does not like them. They essentially make me dump. So I am going to try the unflavored. I'm just not looking forward to it. You know, I feel like if I force fed myself, I could get the 70 in a day. Um... You know, but like yesterday when I got in 67, I did not eat anything but protein. I had chicken sausages for breakfast, then, and, and a half a cup of cottage cheese, and then, and I was so full, so full, oh God. And then at lunch, I had um, four ounces of ham. I had by this light ham that I like, just lunch meat, you know. And then for dinner, I had like four ounces of taco meat with a quarter cup of cheese melted on top. So that gave me 67 grams of protein. So I think if I really try hard and plan strategically, I can do it. It's just I'm full and I'm not hungry. Um, and it takes me normally about four hours to feel like I can eat again, three to four. But I'm gonna keep trying, um, you know, and try to get the protein up because I think getting my protein up will um, help with my hair loss and also probably increase my weight loss. Like I'm, I'm at the point now being seven and a half months where I've got to start stepping up my game. So that means getting some physical activity in, which in a natural course of things, I've been getting more physical activity in. You know, I get up and go downstairs and walk around the house and I'm doing some cleaning and I'm here at the studio and I'm up and down the hall. I couldn't have done any of that before, you know, so I've made tremendous progress. Like even going into my surgeon's office today, I used to park in the parking lot, walk to the front um, of the building and there's a bench right inside the lobby, sit, catch my breath, go up to his office, sit, catch my breath, then go to the front desk. Today, I got out of my car, walked straight to the office, went up to the front desk, stood there for five minutes while they printed out some paperwork for me. And when I left, same thing. Stood there, waited, make my appointment, walked straight out to my car. So I was like, wow, like, you are doing a lot better. How about that? 
but I'm just feeling like I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like more energy and I'm feeling positive. I'm just, just have a different outlook on life now. And I'm gonna get emotional on you guys, but it's a happy emotional. I was so sad before. Um, just so sad and depressed and didn't feel like there was any way out. Um, and then after the surgery, I had such a hard time. And I bless you to the people that had worse time than me. And I know some people do. I can't imagine because I just, you know, there were moments of regret of having the surgery and just when I got sick and ended up in the hospital and just, you know, my stomach just being a mess all the time. It was rough. I had a rough adjustment. There is nothing easy about this process. So if you had a harder time than I did, I feel for you, you know. Um, and then I know there's people that are like, oh, I was doing great six weeks out. And that's awesome. I'm happy for you. That wasn't my experience. But I can say sitting here at seven and a half months out that I would do it again. I would go through everything that I went through and probably more, even though I wouldn't wish that on anybody, to be where I am today. And I'm not done yet. I'm not anywhere near done. So my surgeon would like to see another 100 pounds off. Or, you know, he said he wants me as close to 200 as possible. Just thinking about what I look like in the 170s, 180s, I think if I get to 200, that'll be good, you know. Um, and then I am planning on having skin removal because my arms, let me show you my arms. I still have to lose a lot of weight in my arms. Okay, so number one, I know that I'm not ready for skin surgery. But look at my arm. It's, this is gonna be a problem. This still has fat in it. I still have some fat up here. My arms have always been bigger than the rest of me. Um, I could probably wear, I know, I, I can wear some 3X tops if the arms are big. And I started at a 6X. If the arms are looser, I could wear a 3X top. Um, I mean, what I'm wearing right now is 4X and it's big on me, but my arms. So some 3Xs are fitting me depending on the cut, others aren't. But I feel like my arms are like make me a whole size bigger than I am, if that makes sense. Like I have to wear clothes a size up because of the size of my arms. So that for sure, like as soon as I can get that done and probably my boobs at the same time, I'm gonna get it done, get the skin and stuff removed. So that's the goal. The goal is to be at goal by summer. So I wanna be 250 or you know under 250 by Christmas, you know, by the New Year's, and then I'd like to be at goal by next summer. So that's where I'm at, but yeah, feel good. I'm gonna keep pushing the protein. Um, you know, really work on stepping up the physical activity and just take it from there. But, you know, if you're struggling and you're having a hard time, it gets better. I know for some people, you know, they get really, really sick. You know, that's, that's rare though. But if you're in the beginning, and you're like, this is so hard or you're sick all the time or you're throwing up or whatever's going on, it does get better. Your body finally figures it out and you finally figure it out and your quality of life just completely and totally changes. And I'm still, you know, I'm at the weight where some people start, you know, I'm still 289 and some people get surgery at 289, but you have to understand coming from 450 pounds, literally probably on the edge of death, 450 isn't that far from 500. Um, I feel amazing, you know, and I know it's gonna continue to improve. So that is it, and I'm gonna try to check in more often, um, and I will put progress picture at the end for you so you can see that because I'm shrinking and I love it. <laughs> so you guys have an awesome weekend and I will try to do better about staying up with my channel and letting you know how things are going with me. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye.